Hey everybody, uh, I got another project, uh, another small project at least. Uh, it's making your own uh, scratch all, scratch all, or uh, all um, out of a old uh, screwdriver and uh, a wood turned handle. Uh, so basically, this is an old flathead screwdriver that I ground down to a point. Got a uh, copper co collet here and a nice, um, what I believe is to be oak. Honestly, I just pulled this piece of wood out of my fire pit uh, pile or my firewood pile uh, and just turn it down um, to get this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's oak. All I know is it's a, it's a hardwood. It's, it's not definitely not soft um, so it can take a beating. But it's just got a very simple grip on it uh, with a kind of a mushroom top on it uh, with a flat spot. So I can use the hammer and hit that flat spot and that mushroom top kind of prevents my hand from slipping up too high and also will help with uh, if I accidentally hit my hand with the hammer or something like that. A little extra protection. Um, very easy, relatively quick, another um, half a day project. Uh, so let's get started on this. So to start off with, I just took this old flathead screwdriver and uh, basically just ground it down to a, a point. Now you don't want it too sharp, you don't want a real, real sharp point um, because all it'll do is just break off. Um, so you want it somewhat blunt, uh, I mean not real, real blunt, but uh, about uh, about like a nail uh, is pretty good. So uh, a Phillips head would be probably a little bit easier um, to grind down to this, um, but uh, this is an old piece of junk screwdriver, um, so it was sacrificial. But simply all I do is using my bench grinder, uh, I'm using the, the coarse, the more, more coarse, um, wheel that I have out of the two and I basically just fit it on there and uh, just kind of spin it in circles uh, until I get a good nice sharp point. I'm not really looking for a real nice finish, uh, you know this is just an all, it's nothing fancy uh, and it's saving me probably about uh, on the cheap end 15 bucks for a nice wooden handle all. So after you get your point uh, nice and been sharpened down. Uh, we'll go over to the bandsaw and cut off our uh, handle. So we're left with the nice shank uh, to put into our wooden handle. Okay, to start off with the handle, I've got a nice cylinder roughed out uh, and in my jaw chuck. Now, I'm, I don't want to go in too far, uh, so probably uh, about two inches, uh, maybe three at the most. Okay, so what you didn't see is I simply drilled out uh, a hole for my uh, actual screwdriver part uh, about two two inches uh, deep uh, using my drill chuck. Uh, unfortunately my battery died so I didn't get to get a shot of that um, but uh, pretty self-explanatory. So now I'm just going to take up bring up my tail stack and secure this nice and straight and we can get started on the construction of the actual handle. Okay so to start off with I'm going to create basically a little tenon on here to accept my uh, uh, little collar. This is just a piece of, uh, of copper uh, pipe fitting and uh, taking my measurements uh, from there, which is about uh, 0.88. So you want to be a little bit over that uh, just because you want a nice snug fit and I'll cut this, this, this uh, fitting down a little bit, probably cut this in half um, and go from there.
So the next step is I take a little bit of uh, epoxy and epoxy the, uh, the shaft into the handle. Take our shaft and drive it down in there. Alright, I think that's in there. Make sure that plastic gets nice and spread around the base there. And we're going to leave that sit up to dry. Then we'll put on our little pallet. All right, so now that that's all glued and set, and the glue is set up and everything, uh, I'm just going to simply take my collet and hammer it on. Now I'm going to use a, uh, a board that's got a hole in it, and that should help me at least keep it somewhat lined up. All right, guys, and that is it. That was the Scratch Owl Project. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And I will catch you all later. Take it easy.